Hi everyone, welcome. This is the final, 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 final class for class number one. And this is how to decorate a cake. Yes, we're finally here. Um, this is taught by Cakes by Jermaine. And this is class and course number one. So this will be the very last class for this. And I'm going to basically show you how to decorate the cake itself now. Um, different tips, what's going on. Well, let me do something first. You see this little tip? This right here is a tip washer. This helps you when you have your tips and it's very hard for the buttercream to come out. You go ahead, it's like a little baby, like a bottle brush, but really, 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 really small. Um, and you go ahead and you go ahead and you wash it. So that will help you clean your tips. Also, another thing is, um, be careful with your sinks with the buttercream because remember it contains a lot of the oils and you don't want the oils to clog up your sinks after a while and give you one of those things where you have to go ahead and call like rotor or something like that so the more of the buttercream or whatever it is put it in like a plastic bag or something like that try to minimize what you put in your sink because eventually over time your sinks are going to get um, clogged up and then you're gonna have to call somebody to unclog it for you so let's get started I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to bring my cakes out so I have my cake board here I have my woo, my cake spinner I have all of my slip pads underneath so my cake won't move and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just put a dollop right here so that my cakes can sit on top of it I'm going to show you what type of cakes I have. I have these beautiful Funfetti cakes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I have two layers that I'm going to actually put on here. But for now, what I'm going to do is when you actually have your cakes before you even um, tort them, you want to go ahead and make sure that they're completely leveled. And I have a leveler. And I usually put it on here just to see if the cake is leveled or not. And if it's not, I go ahead and I cut a little off. Just to make sure that it's leveled. Alrighty. You want to make sure that the cake is leveled because if it's not leveled, there we go. All right. If it's not leveled, then it's going to be wopsided from the beginning and you're going to have problems later. So you want to go ahead, once you actually get the cake itself, you want to go ahead and place it down and flip it right side out. Now, if it has a dome on top of it and you've cooked it with a dome, Go ahead, don't worry about the dome, because I usually use the um, the extras for cake pops. That's what I use them for. But if you want to go ahead and bake it without the dome, I usually use bake strips. So I usually use these at the bottom. I have circular parchment papers, and I go ahead and I spray it with cake release. I put these in a the bottom pan, depending on what size cake you have. Those help from the cake sticking to the bottom. It always comes out very nice. But if you don't have a, a good top, you go ahead and you cut it off, you level it. Then you want to go ahead and you want to tort. I have a serrated knife. You want to go ahead, tort it in the middle, and cut it all the way through. And then once you've cut it, then you will have two slices. And look at this beautiful cake. You see this blue that's right here? And this blue that's right here? It's like a double bake. I baked a cake with inside of a cake. So it's a funfetti cake with um blue cake pops that I cooked within the cake itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to the side right quick and we're going to concentrate on this. So if you want to put filling in your cake, so this is your cake itself. If you just want to put just regular buttercream in it, then you just go ahead and you just add buttercream. But for majority of us, we like to go ahead and we like to do some filling. So you go ahead and you're going to use tip number 12 or 
You can just use the coupler itself, depending on how thick you're going to actually put your fruit filling or whatever type of filling, Bavarian cream or whatever. Make sure you don't put too much. You don't want to overdo it because then it's going to seep out and then you're going to have a mess, a messy cake. So watch what I'm doing. I'm going around the cake. I'm building a dam. And basically that's it. You're building a dam right here. And the dam is basically to prevent all of the whatever type of fillings you have from coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and just basically finish this. And I'm going to take a spatula. And I'm going to just work it in. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the top piece back on, making sure that it's nice and level. So I have actually two, two cakes. So this will just be one cake if you was working with just one cake itself, then that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put another filling on this top right here. Since I have two cakes. Go ahead and fill it in. Again, you don't want too much filling. You don't want too, too much. Because when you have too much filling, your filling starts to seep out and then it starts causing a problem. So again, I have another cake here. Very, very delicious cake. I actually take all of my cakes and I use simple syrup with them. So... Go ahead. You want to eyeball it. See if it's leveled. If it's not leveled, you want to go ahead and you want to cut some of it off. Just go ahead and eyeball it just a little bit. Cut some of it off. Make sure that it's leveled. You want to make sure that your cake is leveled. All righty. And again, I saved my scraps for cake pops. So I don't normally just throw them away. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing for the top. I'm going to build a dam. Then I will go ahead and I will put my filling in the middle if I was filling it, which I'm not doing right now. But if you want to, you can go right ahead. I'm going to put some buttercream. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just smooth my buttercream around. I don't want too much, so I don't want it to be excessive. Go ahead and fill it. There we go. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the top on. So, you want to go ahead, make sure that the cake is lined up, make sure that it's nice and neat. Make sure that you look at it, eyeball it. Make sure that it's lined up. Okay? Make sure that you're clean. Remember, make sure that you're clean. So go ahead and you want to wash your hands or do whatever you need to do. Make sure that you have a towel with you so you can go ahead and clean up your cake board because you don't want all those crumbs all over the place. So, what we're going to do now, and for time's sake, as far as video is concerned, I'm going to show you a thin coat, which they call crumb coating. Crumb coating is a thin coat to keep all of these crumbs. I don't know if you can see it on my cake or not, but it's basically to solidify and keep all of the crumbs on the inside. Now, you have a few ways that you can actually do that. 
You can do that by spatula. And I have two different types of spatula, which I love. Or you can use a wedding cake icer. The wedding cake icer is the one that I showed you, the big icer. So I'm going to do the crumb coat with the spatula, and then I'll do the regular coat with the icing bag, okay? Just to give you an idea. So let me go ahead and let me start. Just go ahead and take your buttercream, and depending on if you're right or your left hand, that will determine on which way that you start. And just go ahead and just work the buttercream in. Making sure that you fill in all those crevices, all of those holes. And remember, this is just a crumb coat, so it does not have to be thick. Okay, you guys can all see me. Just go ahead and just work it all the way around. Work it all the way around. Make sure you get all of the empty spaces. Make sure that you get the bottom. Get the bottom. Remember, it doesn't have to be a thick coat. Now, once you've gone all the way around the cake, go around one more time just to see if you have any, any spaces. Again, this is a crumb coat. And then once you have it, you want to go around it one quick time. You want to go ahead and do the top. Again, remember this is just crumb coat. So it can be a very thin layer. It's going to be just as thin as you do in a naked cake. So later on in the near future, if you're ever doing a naked cake, it's going to probably be the same type of consistency. So you want to go ahead and you want to get a scraper at this point. Any type of scraper that you're going to use. And then you want to go ahead and just basically scrape around the cake. And you have the top, you want to go just wipe it very gently for each one that you do. Wipe it very gently. Wipe it very gently. Very gently. Okay. You can also go ahead and you can use the spatula in the same way. So when you get to the top, like if you have any little extra spaces, you can go ahead and just make sure you glide it straight across very gently. Glide it straight across, making sure that it's nice and smooth. Making sure the top is very nice, very smooth. Okay. Pretty good. So, you can see that this is the reason why you need your cake boards covered. Because the buttercream does contain oil in it. And if you don't have the, um, the cake boards covered... The oil is going to seep into the cake board itself. So you're going to either have to do one of two things. You're going to have to clean it up. And you're going to have to move it to another cake board. And that can cause you issues if your cake collapse. So if you have it covered from the beginning, all you have to do is just basically just wet your rag and just wipe it. Go around. Go as close to the cake as you can. Because remember, you're going to put a border there. And voila. That's it. So you have your cake. Your cake is crumb coated. It's smooth on the top. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to put it, because this is a crusted buttercream, at least the recipe that I gave you guys. It's a crusted re recipe. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to put it in the refrigerator for about 
15, 30 minutes, somewhere around there until it's crusted. You're going to touch the top of it and you'll know because it'll be a little bit, it won't be as tacky. It won't be as tacky. You'll be able to actually touch it without it sticking back to your finger. Once you go ahead and you've done that, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to use the, you're going to go ahead and you're going to ice the cake again. That's going to be your final icing. So let me go ahead and let me do that for you. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the wedding cake icer so I can show you what that is and how I use that. Again, you're going to use it the same exact way that you use everything else. Go ahead and put your buttercream on the inside, inside the bag. Make sure you put enough buttercream. All righty. Yay. Okay. And you want to go ahead and now with this wedding cake ISA, you have two sides. You have the flat side and you have a serrated side. So just depending on what you're doing and how you want to use it, you can go ahead and you can do whatever you want. Start from the bottom. Give yourself enough room. Ice the bottom. Ice the top. Again, make sure that you have enough. Make sure you get the sides. So again, it doesn't matter if it's perfect right now. Because you're going to go ahead and you're going to add some more buttercream if you need to. All right. So that's basically the wedding cake icer. It's a lot faster. As you can see. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use, once again, our cake smoother. And I have right on the side of me some warm water. Because that normally helps. You want to go ahead, use your scraper. And again, go all the way around. Scrape it off. Now this time, remember, because this is going to be your final coat, make sure that it's smooth all the way around. So you want to make sure it's smooth. You see that at the bottom, there's right here at the bottom, you can see cake there. You don't want to see cake at all because remember, this is your second coat. So go around and you want to go ahead and you want to take some buttercream and you want to make it a little bit thicker in those areas. Take some more buttercream, make it thicker. It's okay. Make it thicker. This part you should take your time on because if you don't do this part right, the rest of your cake is going to be a mess. All righty, here we go. All the way around the cake again. Remember, this is the second time that you're doing this, so this is your crumb coat. Excuse me. Your crumb coat is over, and now you're finalizing your cake. So they do have other contraptions like to do your cakes a little bit easier, but I like to do it this way because it's just the way that I know how to do it. Go ahead, scrape it around. Take your time. Lift. Take your time, lift, alrighty, come up to the top, take your time, see how that just fell off, go ahead and scrape it off, take your time, Scrape it across, take your time, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a little spatula, and I'm going to come straight across, straight across, 
straight across. Just take your time. There's no rush. But you want to make sure that the top is as smooth and as flat as possible. So if that means that you need to scrape off more buttercream, then so be it. Go ahead and scrape it off. If you need to add some water, some hot water, just to make sure that it's smooth, go right ahead. Do what you got to do to make sure that it's smooth. Okay, you get the point? You get the point? Making sure that the sides are smooth. Making sure that the top is smooth. Okay? I'm not going to do it all the way because I have to show you about the combing. So you want to go ahead. Once that's done, that's fine. Then you want to go ahead. Once you've got it to the smoothness that you need it and that you want it, you want to go ahead, put it back in the refrigerator again, and this time you're going to leave it there for about maybe 30 minutes. Once you crust it, you're going to go ahead and use the Viva paper towel method. Put the paper towel on top of it, wipe it, smooth it, sides, wipe it, smooth it, and you're going to use your hands or a fondant smoother. Either or. Again, you're going to use your hands with the Viva paper towel or the fondant smoother. So you don't really have to worry about what the cake looks like the second time because even if it's not perfect, because I'm not teaching you how to use acrylics, I'm teaching you how to do it the real and the right way. So um, all of that extra stuff comes later because, you know, what if one day you, you purchase all of these extra products and they break or somebody steals them or they're just not there? How are you going to get your cake smooth? You have to learn how to do everything a basic way, just in case if your equipment's break, you have to know how to do everything by hand. And that's what I learned in culinary school. Learning how to do everything by hand in case your machines break, you're still able to produce your products. So once this has crusted and you've done that, your cake is basically finished. Either you can leave it like that and then go ahead and design it, or if you're using fondant, then you can go ahead and you can um, do your fondant cakes at that time. So let's review one more time really, really quickly. You're going to go ahead. You're going to stack your cake. You're going to look at your cake and you're going to tort it to a level just to make sure that it's leveled. Once it's, go once it's leveled, then you can go ahead. If you're going to fill the cake, you can go ahead and make a dam. Go ahead and fill it. Once you go ahead and fill it, you go ahead and put the second topping back on it. Then go ahead and you just keep going up and keep going up and then making sure that your cake is nice and leveled all the way around. Okay? So also come down eye level, making sure that you can look at it and see it, making sure that everything looks eye level to you. And if it does look eye level, then you go ahead and you start smoothening your cake out. Start putting your buttercream, start smoothing it, crumb coat, refrigerator, 15, 20 minutes, bring it back out again. You do your full coat. Your next coat should be a little bit thicker. Crumbs will, will seep in there. And then you go ahead and you smooth your cakes. So now that we've gotten that all done, we're going to do the next step, which is cake combs. So you have a variety of cake combs here. So depending on what kind of design you want will determine what kind of comb you use. I'm going to use this comb right now. You're going to go ahead and you're going to just put the comb in here inside the buttercream and just basically... Just turn it. Try to give it one continuous turn. Just like that. See? Try to give it one continuous turn. If you could do it in one shot, great. Go back. Push up on the top or whatever it is that you need to refine. Perfect. Look at that. I really like that. That design is really pretty. Look at that. Wow, it's a really pretty design. Really, really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the top too. Really nice. Oh, that's pretty. Really nice. So basically, when you have combs, you know, this is a, a great way to do celebration cakes for children or even weddings. They're really, really pretty. Making sure that you have to make sure, though, that you have a lot of buttercream on 
your cakes. Because once you use the comb, the comb is basically going to be scraping away the buttercream off your cake. So there you have it. You have your cake combs. You have how to ice your cakes, how to torch your cakes, how to crumb coat your cakes. You guys are ready to go. And I hope that I have done a little bit of justice, just a little bit, to help you on your way to becoming a better cake decorator. Mwah. Enjoy your night. Bye-bye.